<clears throat> Alright, in this tutorial I'm going to show you quickly how to bring in custom artwork into your restaurant from like the Google image that you might download, and also how to create things like menus that you can have on all your tables. And we'll also maybe talk about how to create your own custom textures like I did for my floor. So, if I were to go to Google, and I search for painting artwork or something that you want to bring into the restaurant on the walls, for example. And I don't care what your picture is. Some some people end up using like a um, picture of a football game if they want to do like a TV or something like that. I'm just going to show you how to do some like art real quick. So let's say I find one that I like and this one looks kind of cool. I'm going to try to right click and say save image as. I'll save it just to my desktop, something easy to find. I'll call it painting. Now let's go check my desktop out. I'm gonna keep my SketchUp window open. And what I would recommend is, if I can find my painting that I just saved, here it is, and my desktop's kind of a mess. Um, what I would recommend is getting your SketchUp window, like if I, if I know that I want my painting to be on this wall right here, I would get your SketchUp kind of open and ready um, to drag it into. And then you can make the window a little bit smaller. But now, if I have my painting picture on the desktop ready to go, I can just drag that picture file right onto SketchUp, and you can see, and you, the reason why I say it's best to keep your like wall ready to go is because if you don't, then you're like attaching it to other surfaces. You can see it's like down on the ground or whatever. But if I just have that right there, I can drop it right into place. Now, a couple things is it comes in as a group or a component. So, um, I don't know if you can notice, but it's just like a flat piece that's kind of sharing the wall. Sometimes people notice that it kind of like shimmers or flashes because it's like on the same plane as the wall. So what a lot of people end up doing is if you right click this image that you brought in and hit explode, this is what I was talking about where you can kind of see it's like sharing the same surface so you can't hardly see it. So I, I exploded it to make it not a group anymore, but now I can use my push pull tool and just push it out just a little bit. So again, I'm adding a little bit of 3D depth to it. Um, so that way it looks a little bit more like a painting on the wall or a canvas, and it's not gonna have that shimmery effect anymore. Okay, so that's how you can bring in a, a painting. Now, let's just kind of show you the, the same concept, but for a menu. So I'm just gonna pretend that, well, let's see if I have any other pictures here. All right, well, I have a picture of my face for some reason, so I'm gonna use that. So let's say that you have a picture of a menu that you've downloaded and you want to bring it into your table, right? And remember, in a previous video, we talked about how to create the chairs, tables, and how to create a little set like this so that this whole thing is one component. And when you copied these components, you made um, copies that are tied to each other, meaning if I double click into this component, you see how everything else is selecting at the same time? So like by selecting this table, I'm affecting all the other copies of the components. So if I clicked into this component, and now I drag a picture in, you see how it applied to all the copies of the components? So this is how you do a menu, right? You download a picture that you want, you click into the component that you want to bring it into, and then you can you know, move your picture around. And again, I might wanna explode it, push it up a little bit, I can make copies, M for move, control for copy, drag a copy across. And again, you can notice that it applied to all my tables because they're all components and they were all um, shared together. So by editing one component, it affects all of them. So that's how you can set up some custom menus. Same thing for if you bring in um, things from the warehouse, like plates, you can bring it right into this component and it will uh, put it on all of the other ones. Just be careful with dragging stuff in from the warehouse because sometimes those files can be really big. I would make sure you're not getting anything less than like, or over one megabyte usually. Um, the only other thing I wanna show you real quick is textures that are custom. So you might be able to notice my wood texture on the floor is, it looks pretty nice, and it's not one that SketchUp has automatically. So if you hit B for paint bucket, you know, you do have a lot of built-in textures over here but I really don't like any of the wood options, for example, so I wanted to go out and download my own. So if you want to incorporate your own texture that you find, what you're gonna do is over here on the right in this texture area, there's this little box with a plus sign that says create material. So I'm gonna hit that, and this little pop-up will appear. Now, 
this is letting me like create a new one based off of this example texture that I was on, but I want to basically browse my computer for a brand new picture. So there's this little folder icon. So I'm gonna click this, and then you're gonna find a picture that you've downloaded. I don't know if I have any, let's see. This is from a while ago, so I'm not sure I have any good example pictures. Mm, we'll use, we'll just use this weird art that I have just as an example. So I can pick this art that I have here. This becomes a texture. So now let's say I wanted to paint this on my walls. This is going to be real bright and colorful here. But if I go to my wall and I paint it, now you can see I've textured in that entire wall with that um, picture. Now, obviously, my painting doesn't really work as a texture because it's just, I mean, it's like tiled like this, right? I would want to find a specific thing like a floor that already is ready for um, texture. But just a quick example, if I hit this edit button over here, you can edit the size of your texture. So down here, you see it's like four feet two by five inches tall. If you wanted to make it bigger, maybe I try like seven foot. You can see it's adjusting and scaling this up. Same thing on my floor. So for example, if my floor beams, I didn't think were big enough, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my eyedropper tool and, and click my texture here. You can see I've already brought this custom texture in. So I can go back to edit and I can adjust my size. So I think it, a lot of times they come in really small and you can barely see the texture unless I zoomed way in. So you're probably gonna have to play with this texture a little bit and you can see like even at like five foot it's you can kind of see the the edges of this texture so sometimes again it's just a matter of playing with different numbers until you get to a decent looking view and you can even um, customize the color in here so I on my custom wood texture that I had I could kind of drag this color wheel around and if I wanted more you know like a I don't know like a yellow beam floor or something or like a lighter color I could do that if for some reason I wanted like red floors not sure why but you could do that so and if you don't like any of the colors you can always hit this reset color button and bring it back to the original and you can see like my original one was kind of a lighter floor I think I, I uh, made it darker with this little bar up here so hopefully that gives you some ideas uh, we really want you to have a custom look to your restaurant so that means everything is textured not everything has to be custom, but, you know, you should think about your design and, you know, walls on the interior, I put a little wallpaper on, walls on the exterior, I put some brick, I have a nice little floor, I have some just lovely artwork everywhere, including all of my tables and stuff, right? Um, I put like a texture for our TV up here, for example. So again, we want you to make sure that you are customizing your restaurant, making it look more than just a white blob, right? That doesn't have any texture. Okay, have fun, make it look nice.